let us let us look at uh, the factors affecting the biogas formation that is methane formation so and this is very pertinent and relevant uh, question because because as i was telling lot of biogas plants are not uh, working defunct like because of lack of understanding uh, lack of uh, maintenance so what are the factors we'll see uh, one is uh, slurry the slurry it should be like proper solubilization of organic materials between solids and water so you should have one is to one ratio okay there should be a slurry it cannot be hard or it cannot be soft also second thing the seeding <coughs> like i was giving example of uh, uh, curd formations for curd what you take you take milk and you add little bit of curd so that is on a seeding so because of that curd that will expand so uh, uh, the seeding is in the beginning seeding of slurry with a small amount of sludge of other digester activates methane evolution so the that sludge na old uh, earlier sludge will contain bacteria this is acetogenic bacteria and methogenic methanogenic bacteria there are two types of bact bacteria one is acetogenic bacteria and second is methanogenic bacteria then ph uh, should be 6 to 9 uh, it should not be very acidic if it is acidic means it lowers the formation of methane temperature uh, as i was telling in india a lot of variation in temperature is there so that is why that is one of the main problems uh, but in other countries developed countries and all where they have got the biogas plant artificially they are keeping it warm also because below 30 degrees the formation of digestion gas is reduced so they artificially also they are heating the digester so the ideal temperature is on 35 degrees centigrade lower the temperature less the formation of gas because the bacteria whatever are there na they will not work properly Uh, you know na we have got refrigerator what refrigerators do we keep things in a uh, food items in the refrigerator why because at low temperature the bacteria will not work S a simple case same case is uh, logic is applied here also then comes nitrogen concentration excess amount of nitrogen inhibits the growth of bacteria and thereby lowers methane production therefore uh, use of such materials should be discouraged so you should not have lot of nitrogen actually so that is why the next point that is carbon nitrogen ratio is very important so maximum digestion occurs when the cn ratio is 30 is to 1 means the carbon should be 30 times nitrogen should be lower than only 1% so almost you can see uh, carbon should be 30 times and nitrogen should be very low one one part only then only this uh, gas formation will take place otherwise meet and this nitrogen more nitrogen will reduce the Uh, growth of bacteria and thus reduce the methane production methane production is lowered means the growth of bacteria is reduced simple then uh, you should have air tight conditions actually because uh, this is anaerobic in the absence of air therefore the digester should be totally air tight that is why in indirect condition the digesters are buried in the soil but nowadays you have got flow even plastic as in uh, ready made uh, biogas plants are available in the market then uh, to improve the formation of uh, biogas some algae uh, can be added so this is a new development which has uh, taken place like uh, 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 this ramamurthy and sulochana uh, have found the enhancement of biogas production from cow dung on addition of green algae zygo gonium the amount of biogas produced from the algae was twice that obtained from cow dung so if you add algae then it produces more biogas also the duration of gas evolution increased with the increase in the proportion of slurry the calorific value of the gas was 9400 kilo calories per meter cube and the methane percentage was 55 55% generally in winter season gas production is lowered therefore addition of algae holds a promise to get biogas to sufficient amount even in winter season also so winter because the temperature is low the microorganism don't grow or breed so that is why uh, this algae adding is 
गुड सो वी आर डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट्स लाइक टेम्परेचर दे कैन वर्क फ्रॉम नाइन टू फिफ्टी फिफ्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड बट एट नाइन डिग्री वेरी लेस अमाउंट ऑफ गैस इज प्रोड्यूस बट द बेस्ट टेम्परेचर इज अराउंड थर्टी फाइव टू थर्टी नाइन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड पी एच ऑल्सो सेवन टू नाइन एट इज बेस्ट इवन टू एसिडिक लेस दैन सिक्स एंड मोर दैन टेन द बैक्टीरिया विल नॉट सर्वे and the carbon to nitrogen ratio like 25 to 1 to 30 to 1 is best and 90% of the content should be water only that is why cow dung is best because it already contains around 9% solid organic matter and the important thing is you have to agitate agitate the slurry means you have to mix it properly like you put it in mixer na so when you mix it it should be blended properly then only the proper gas production takes place this is very important even when you are preparing food also dal and all you will chair on that na agitate it so that proper mixing takes place and uh, last uh, important point is loading should be uniform so daily whatever you are loading same amount you should load it every day so that uniform amount of uh, feeding is given to the bacteria and uniform amount of gas is produced that digester uh, uh, too much of raw material putting also like we are having food so how much you are having food whatever is needed only not if you take double the food then it will lead to problem because acid will accumulate and fermentation will be affected same like our uh, body stomach only this digester also daily you have to load regularly at the same time you have to load so that the acid formation is avoided you can't put excess uh, raw material and also you can can't put less raw material also both will affect okay thank you